Hi cuties! December Daily is one of my favorite scrapbooking projects ever. It's a December mini album project that documents the 25 days leading up to Christmas, started by a friend, Allie Edwards. She has a ton of amazing photos, resources, and information on her blog, which is linked below. I've been doing it for five years, and as I try and figure out how I want to do it this time around, I thought it would be fun to flip through the books together. In 2010, I won this little mini book, it's 4 by 6 from Marcy Penner, and she actually put together some random pages, had the book rings included, and it basically was a little kit that she sent to me, and it was a great starting off point because I liked the small format, and I was able to include little bits from my day. So I treated this as any other mini book. I have some holiday themed items, as you can see, Bamboo and the Little Santa outfit. And then just put in things that I wanted to, like photos of me jumping in Times Square. I was out to dinner with friends and I happened to meet the Pioneer Woman with Kelly Perky. And she actually flipped through this book and she signed this page right here. I think the really fun part for me is just including bits and pieces of what I collect and also using themed products because there's not a lot of times that you can use the cute Christmas holiday pattern papers, stickers, etc. So this is a good opportunity to, oh look, this little circle actually was glued somewhere so let me grab some adhesive and put it back. I don't know if it was there actually. Oh, I see some remnants of adhesive there, so I'm just going to stick it right back down. The thing about having these loose pages not protected is sometimes that happens, and I think that I don't treat my mini books with such care. Oh, look, here's another one. And I don't really put that much adhesive down either. It's great that we're actually doing these flip throughs so I can fix up these books and get them to where they need to be. That goes right about there. What I love about looking back on these albums is that there's so many special memories. This was actually my first time to American Crafts was this trip and I happened to sit next to people going there and on the return flight that were just amazing seatmates. So it's really fun to include little bits and pieces, sometimes just a photo, sometimes just a business card. That was our first time to Pitfire Pizza. I used my typewriter for that journaling. And then some documenting as well as recording of what we ate. Just random little bits. And this is where we used to live on Rose Avenue in Venice. Here's a little envelope. And I think this is actually the year that we left for Guatemala on Christmas Day. So that's where it ends. And let's jump to 2011. I went with the same small format because I was so happy with the way the previous year turned out that I stuck with this and I want to read you this quote that I wrote at the beginning. It's by Brené Brown and it says, In this world, somehow an ordinary life has become synonymous with a meaningless life. And so often we are missing what is truly important because we are on the quest for what is extraordinary, not understanding that in our ordinary lives, in the ordinary moments of our lives, is really where we can find the most joy. I mean, that just sums up this whole project to me because I think a lot of people would say, oh, well, I don't even do that much or I don't even, or I'm so busy or, you know, you can make excuses for everything. Oh my gosh, look at how little Ace and Star were. And this is a little card from Paige. So just getting back to the quote, I think it's really valuable to be intentional about digging up the little things that are important to you or realizing that, you know, life is precious and there are mundane moments, but really our time is spent doing all kinds of things. And so I think it's important to recognize. Uh, this is actually my first time to Puerto Rico. I was there for teaching and it's really fun because I just recorded one little thing every day. I cut that out of a magazine. I use this white gel pen here that really pops and try to include little bits that might be interesting and you know I think that part of the reason this book is so fun to me is because I put things like cards and little special tidbits sometimes I have photos and sometimes I don't um, just including little things like this yogurt container I think that's a top from my yogurt land that I had to cut out and put in 
This was from when we were in Pittsburgh and JC's mom was recovering from a stroke that she had in November. And it was, I think, a few days before she had just gotten out of the hospital. I think it's important to document the little things and the big things that happen, even the tough things. Oh, look, Joanna was pregnant with Tice. Of course, bad things happen and sad things happen. But I think it's important to record the little things like this iPad that I have and the J.Crew tag, but also the bigger things and whatever's going on in your life. I think the process of documenting is so valuable. So this was the year that I completely slacked off. And I think I was just so thrown off by this format, even though I really liked the cover. I really liked these first few pages, but it was also really hard because this was the first Christmas without my grandmother and I documented that here but I also put a positive spin on it on this side. It says this is our first December without Apo. We miss her every day but our hearts are full of gratitude for having her as long as we did. Which is so true. I think that's what it's about. Recognizing how grateful you are for what you have and um, I tried my best to document as much as I could for this month that was with Anne-Marie and Elise at the Urbanic Party, which I think I've included every single year. Oh, so I backed up a little bit because the party usually reminds me of kicking off the December Daily, and it happened a little bit earlier that year. As you can see, I usually have a very strong start at the beginning of my December Daily Albums, which was proven true for this one as well. I included bits from you know, my days, and I put a note in here to uh, put the photo of Buster in a bow tie once I got it printed, but I never did that. I've seen that photo somewhere in the studio, so I probably should do that at some point. But yeah, there's no limitations to what I put in. Sometimes there's business cards. I punch holes in cards. I also put that Lululemon gift card in there, and uh, that was a note from Jamaica Makes. And I think that I probably ordered something from her and have it included in here. This is funny because we just got into Homeland and I love Taco Bell. I have a business card from SLS, a business card from Superba. And then my mom and I actually took a trip to Hawaii for 12, 12, 12. And there's a business card of JC's from when he worked at Yahoo. And then this is when it all fell apart. So I didn't do anything else, you guys. It's so sad. And then I just stuck a bunch of cards and tags. Oh, and here's a photo from the Yahoo Christmas party. Yeah, so this year was not that good. I've got some more cards back here. And yeah, this is a very unfinished December daily, and I'm not very happy with myself. Oh, look, there's my BFF. Uh, but this is what it is. I don't think I'll ever go back and fix this. I'll just leave it as is, and that's okay with me. Uh, this is when I started to really get my act together, and I'm sure it was because this was Jack's first Christmas, and I love the format of this Studio Calico album. I really love the amount of pockets that are available. I like the amount of space. I love the fact that I took so many pictures back then when he was little. We still use that shark towel. This was probably one of the best days ever. That's what Cindy said. Um, and we went to Ellen and we were invited back for 12 days of giveaways. And so I had her do the journaling on this card, which is something that I really like doing actually. If I can get more uh, other people to participate, I think that would be really fun. There's Anne Marie holding Jack. Those are some really good ice cream sandwiches on the left. And then, you know, basically the focus is on our son Jack. This was his first plane ride. We went to Hawaii and I included the menu. I also included the luggage tag and a picture of him and mommy looking out at the sunset. So, just trying to incorporate as much as possible. Obviously, when I do more, I think I include more. Well, maybe not, because that didn't work for the previous year when I went to Hawaii. This is a little brochure menu trick where you can slit the paper. That way it folds out. I do that for a lot of clients when I scrapbook for them. And I love finding ways to incorporate memorabilia. Just love all these photos. Obviously, this is very photo heavy, not so much journaling, but I think there's a good mix and a good balance of embellishments 
and uh, just just stuff that you know happened and things that we did. I mean, this was a very mundane part of December for me when we would just take walks daily just to get out of the house. So I think that whatever you can include, oh, another Yahoo Christmas party on this side, and just little things that you can include. On this left side, that was the first time he actually fell asleep on the sofa. I think that was the only time he did. And I think in this giggle picture over here, he's making a big poop. So yeah, and on the right side, you can see we are at the Ellen Show once again. So that was really cool, and there's a lot of fun highlights. Jack laughed for the first time. I think it was when he was almost three months old, the day before he turned three months old. So all kinds of stuff, an Equinox postcard, Cindy doing a headstand, Unk visiting for the first time, that's JC's brother. And I just love looking back on this so much. There's Ace and Star looking at Jack. And then I put a little anchor to cover up his privates while in bath time. And I just love the fact that I was able to include family. And so many of these photos of Jack, of the dogs, I mean, really, let's be honest, they're mostly of Jack. There is a family shot of, here, of all of us, and we are all staring at Jack. He's getting kisses from Otto. And then here is where I kind of fall apart. Right after Christmas, I had intentions of documenting other things. Oh, this is actually my favorite thing that I've included. Uh, one of them is the stamps page and also some tags and our Christmas card that we mailed out. Also, just a bunch of little things that I have in this pocket. Oh, Ironically, this gratitude wrap tag that I'm pulling out here from Lululemon, this is actually the jacket that I'm wearing. I tend to wear it every day when it gets cold, and then we've got our Christmas list and then some cards. Now on to 2014. This is probably my favorite album. I love the way everything turned out. This is actually a Project Life album, and then I used Page Protectors by Simple Stories. I also included things between the pages, and I love the way this looks overall. I think that the mix is really good. There's some ticket stubs. We went to the Clippers game, and just really fun, special memories that, and some other ones that are not so special, like the Jiffy Corn Muffin mix. I don't know why I included that, but it's there. Del Taco, which is another favorite fast food place of mine. I think I was supposed to do some journaling inside of here, but I didn't. That was an awesome Mindy Weiss event that I scrapbooked. And uh, it was at Hillcrest Country Club. Then, you know, pictures of Jack sharing food with Bamboo that he shouldn't be sharing. And then notes and his little butt right there. Oh my gosh. So Chick-fil-A had just opened recently. I love the little square pockets, I think, the most. And I included postcards. I cut part of the page protector so that this um, was just two sections. And I think, as you can see, I don't really have any rules when it comes to documenting. I just happen to put in what we do, I was very intentional about making sure to include at least one photo per day. Um, I cut apart a four by six for the bottom of that page. Uh, Ron Howard was at JC's work party, so I had to include that. And then, you know, this was him at the Beverly Hilton talking on the phone, acting all cute. But I am so happy with the fact that I took the time to not only document it, and be able to relive those memories while I was scrapbooking it. But also the fact that I get to flip through it and share it with all of you. I get to also have people hold it. This was Jack's first haircut. There's some hair in there. And of course, he didn't love being on Santa's lap. But so many fun memories. There's little Briar when she was teeny tiny. That's Anne Marie's daughter. Yeah, so all kinds of fun things that I think just provide some added magic to the whole 
season. That was Jack in his little vest. He can still wear that. That was our uh, stamp collage there, our little family Christmas. And then this book was really mostly complete. I still have some stragglers over here, but overall I'm just so happy with being able to look back on this and not setting up any rules. That's Stacy Julian's Christmas card. I think I was going to punch some holes. I really appreciate you looking through these albums with me. I hope you feel inspired to document your December in any way you like or use the inspiration for any one of your mini books that you might want to make. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I love hearing from you guys, so if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And yes, I will be showing you my December daily from 2015 in a video coming up soon. Thanks for watching. Bye!